Bitcoin or rather um, GBTC Grayscale. So um, there was, let's let's do news. Um, the closed end fund in the UK, you call that an investment trust, was trading. When, when I started to tweet about it, I don't know, 40, 45% discount to NEV. I don't want to glow. Um, and it's narrowed about 20. It's narrowed as this seems to be more and more conviction that their application to transform from close to an open end, so to become an ETF. Um, the SEC's objections have been rebuffed um, by one arm of the US just judiciary. And, and who knows, maybe that will be challenged again by the SEC, but we're now trading about 20% discount. What would I do? Probably hold on. But what is more revealing? Let's go kind of asset capitalist. What can we say that's interesting about that? The interesting thing is, I think, what's my calculator? I think they've got, I think they own 3% physical of Bitcoin. So if we say Bitcoin, roughly half a trillion dollars. Yeah. So 500 billion um, times 0 0.03. So yeah, they, they have about 15 yards, $15 billion of the Bitcoin. Now, where I've always disagreed with the SEC and where I've always thought the SEC's fight against to prevent this happening was silly, is that once that becomes open-ended, open-ended don't have discounts to NEV, you will trade to book value, you'll trade to the market value of the Bitcoin. And the people that have shares in Grayscale We'll sell it. It'll be very easy to sell, and you'll be able to sell those assets at NEV with a presently with a 20, 25% uplift. And, and so Bitcoin rallies into that news, but Bitcoin, Bitcoin presently, take a drum roll and go round and round again. I think Bitcoin is heavy. I think it's going to go lower. I think lower prices, I don't want to buy it. But here's a paradox and irony for you. I think it's going lower because GBTC will be. You should never see people's beds. Let's turn this way. But you should never see lamps. I th I think Bitcoin. You should never see wardrobes. Let's just look at the lady, or let's look outside. Um, I think GBTC will unleash maybe ten ten billion dollars of sales into the Bitcoin, and I just don't think the market is um, has the demand for that kind of overhang just now. So paradoxically, the good news on Bitcoin. Uh, initially, it's regarded as so the good news on grayscale and, and the good news for the holders of the closed end fund are being charged an outrageous 2 2.2% 2 .2 management fee for nothing. The good news is they're going to be able to get out of that fund and realize at NEV. The bad news is for Bitcoin, I think maybe upwards of $10 billion could be coming onto the market. And so you see, when you get the Bitcoin news, you get an initial uh, bump upwards. Um, and then it 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 unravels. I think that's it. It for the time being, all of the good news is in Bitcoin. In that you know we've got all these various ETFs with applications in with the U.S. authorities. The indication being likely to be approved, likely to be approved by the year end or early next year. And yet that seems to be incorporated in the Bitcoin price. Remember, Bitcoin is probably up 60% year to date, but it's one of these kind of false kind of flags on the basis of where we started January, let's say January, the start of last year, I think we're down 40%. So uh, is it up a lot? Is it down a lot? It's kind of, it is what it is and it's lacking an impulse just now. So that's the Bitcoin news.